Hi Gemini, this is your uh, weekly March 14th through March 20th tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. So I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Swords. In the potential outcome, we have the Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. And we also have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So yeah, well, you've got this King of Pentacles coming in. Um, probably an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, this is uh, somebody who is very grounded, very serious. They could be working for a financial institution or they could be a wealthy individual. For some of you, it could be somebody you work with or this person could be associated in some shape or form with the way you make your money. For some of you. Right? Then they're coming in with a very serious offer. You know, they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles offer. We don't have any pages here. Right, but on any Knights, we do have this Ace of Pentacles. Right, the Ace of Pentacles actually is one of the two Aces. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, so the offer is legit. <laughs> and uh, the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. I specifically clarified the King of Pentacles asking what this person really wants. And yeah, they really do want to get the show on the road with you because the Wheel of Fortune is a major iconic card and it's the start of a new cycle. A very fortunate new cycle between you and them. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, always good news in my spread. So again, the offer is legit. We also have the world on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The world is also a card of uh, starting a new cycle. The world is my happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end, but a new happy chapter of your life is about to begin. Right? However, you are not going to be on board right away with this person for whatever reason. Um, we have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, that would be you, you know, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Eight of Swords, uh, your card is clarifying, is a card of somebody who's stuck, trapped in their own thoughts. You know, this is a card of somebody who's overthinking things. <laughs> so you can always leave me a comment, let me know why you're not going to be on board right away. So you're going to be a little bit confused. You're not going to know exactly what to do. Perhaps you have history with this person or you know this person for a while and you didn't expect this person to come towards you with this type of offer. Perhaps your colleagues, perhaps your friends or you're just shocked a little bit with the you know, this really serious offer, because they're like I said, they're not coming in with the page energy, they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> you know, it's an Ace of Pentacles. It's, um, you know, every once in a while, the Ace of Pentacles comes through as a proposal, by the way. So perhaps uh, they just want to make sure they secure the deal with you <laughs> right away, but uh, I think it'll backfire on them a little bit, because uh, I do see you being really uh, confused and, uh, you know, you're constantly overthinking. But uh, if... Uh, you're overthinking this because you're not sure if they're serious about you. The cards are saying they are really serious about you. All right. In the potential outcome, we have the Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. The Three of Pentacles, for some of you, it is a card of uh, collaboration or work, business, and finances. For others of you, the Three of Pentacles is a very serious card. You know, this is a card of building this connection from the from the get-go, from the beginning, making sure the foundation is solid because both of you want it, because both of you are, you know, the, both of you see the future between you and this person. Then we got the Ace of Cups, the second Ace. The Ace of Cups is all about love, genuine and authentic love. Perhaps that's what was missing in this equation because they're going to come in, come in kind of practical, I guess, with the Ace of Pentacles. However, it is actually all about love with the Ace of Cups. If this really is an Earth sign, then it kind of makes sense because they're pra uh, being practical, they're planning things ahead. That's the way most Earth signs are, you know, and I actually like it about them. Um, but uh, in order for them to, you know, <laughs> resonate with them, perhaps that Ace of Cups is what was missing. Um, but uh, they do have love for you, a lot of love. It's just the Ace of Pentacles is just the way they're expressing it. But in reality, there will be a lot of emotional fulfillment as well. Uh, speaking of emotional fulfillment, we got the Two of Cups right next to the deck. 
You know, this is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of uh, unconditional love. It's a card of uh, two people on the same page. So, in, so potentially, in the future, the two of you, you know, will be building this together with the Three of Pentacles. There will be lots of love between the two of you with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. You'll just have to, I guess, process what this person is going to tell you this week. Because I, I do think, like I said, you'll be a little bit shocked. You'll, you'll be like, what just happened? <laughs> but um, once you've done processing it, I, I think the two of you can make it work. It looks very, very promising. Really happy for you, Gemini. Congratulations. Gemini, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do a couple or more spreads, maybe even three spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Gemini, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Six of Wands, and we also have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Anyway, um, if your significant other, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, uh, is a fire sign, that makes total sense. Because we've got so much fire here, we can set this place on fire. <laughs> other than that, if you're not dealing with a fire sign, it's going to get really passionate and fiery. And it's going to be something unexpected. It feels like a surprise, um, by the way. The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck, uh, this is something you're not aware of, something you do not see coming. For some of you, it, it, you know, what's happening here, perhaps somebody is going to show, back, show up. You know, somebody from uh, your family, from your extended family, or somebody else may show up and uh, stay with you, surprise you. Or there could be some sort of an invitation, you know, uh, to do something new, to start something, to go someplace. And uh, it's all very exciting and enthusiastic and spontaneous at the same time, right? Especially, It's going to be spontaneous for you because you're not aware of it. Well, you are kind of aware of it now because you're watching this, but uh, perhaps you're not realize you don't you will not know what exactly is going to be happening, right? The eight of wands, the first card I came out. This is a card of travel or communication. Um, the ace of wands, clarifying the eight of wands, uh, is a is a passionate new beginning. So, like I said, for some of you, you could be hitting the road, you could be getting on that plane and flying somewhere, or somebody could be showing up and uh, surprising you. It could be a surprise visit from somebody. The page of wands in the middle is a message and the six of ones right next to the deck. This is um, a card of victory or this is a card of feeling great. So if you do have this new beginning between you and this person, you'll feel great about it. Or somebody is showing up and uh, they will feel great about showing up and uh, I don't know how you'll react. <laughs> I don't see any cards suggesting you'll be uh, angry or you'll be pissed off. No, whatever is happening here, I, it's it's a very fast energy, with, especially with that 801s, you know, very fast development. So, yeah, you can always leave me a comment, let me know what's going on here, but uh, this looks exciting, you know, passionate, fiery, fast, enthusiastic, spontaneous, something brand new for sure. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Tower. And uh, we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. We don't have any court cards, we don't have any pages, we don't have any aces. What we do have is um, an ugly breakup that happened between the two of you in the past. But uh, if you let this person back into your life, it'll be good for a while. They'll be on their best behavior. However, in the future, it'll just it would it'll be even worse than what you had with this person the first time around. If, and therefore, Gemini, I think you should stay as far away from this person as possible. Don't let this person back into your life. It'll be a major destruction in the future if you give them a second chance. All right, so let me concentrate on what, I, what may happen in the future. <laughs> the Eight of Cups clarified by the tower right next to the deck, this is the future. 
right? The Eight of Cups is them walking away or you having to walk away from them. And the Tower, clarifying the Eight of Cups, this is a major destruction, a major devastation. You know, it's just the worst case scenario, I guess. Because this person is, I don't know what, they, but they've got issues. The Five of Swords, the first card that came out, this is an ugly breakup card. This is a card of severing ties. This is when people slam doors on the way out. This is when uh, people say words that uh, we don't usually say in typical life. Right? However, the tower that plays ahead, if you let this person back into your life, is even worse than the Five of Swords. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's what you are right now, and I believe that's what you should, re should remain when it comes to this particular person, when it comes to this particular situation. Perhaps you're doing really good right now, you may be glowing up, you could be doing uh, really good financially, you could be in the spotlight, and that's why this person wants to uh, get back together with you, because they want to, quote-unquote, share your success with you. Well... So, yeah, whoever comes back this week, Gemini, send them back to the past, because that is definitely where they belong. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances this week, uh, Gemini. We have Death, clarified by the Sun. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. And we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or um, an Aries. Something is finally coming to an end it's like the end of a long journey and you're so happy about it you know uh, so yeah <laughs> death the first card that came out this is a card of an ending but the thing about the death card this is like a natural ending right so nothing is coming to a screeching halt no you kind of knew or you were hoping this was going to come to an end and uh, now you're really happy for some of you it could be a retirement for others of you, you could be uh, finally being promoted um, or you could be getting like a bonus or perhaps you're finishing a project that you were working on for a while and uh, you're happy it's done and it was done successfully. You know, something along those lines. This is a happy ending. <laughs> so death is a card of an ending and if you take a closer look on, on the right side of that death card, right there in the middle on the right side, there is a sunrise. So the sun is coming up. And, uh, you know, death is clarified by the sun. You know, that's very symbolic. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So whatever it is that's coming to an end, you're going to be really happy about. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles in the middle is a card of work, business, and finances. Then we have the Nine of Cups right next to the deck. The Nine of Cups is a wish come true card, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. The Emperor on the bottom of the deck, it could be an Aries you're dealing with. The Emperor often comes through as a figure of authority. So you could be being promoted. You could be the one becoming the Emperor. Could You could be becoming a manager or a C-level executive. You know, or the Emperor is your boss who is uh, promoting you or somebody who is going to do something for you, something nice for you. You know, um, perhaps uh, if uh, you do finish some sort of a project then the, the emperor will praise you you know but um, for most of you I think you're the emperor here you're the one feeling on top of the world you're the one being promoted you're the one moving forward on the, to the next level you know yeah something's coming to an end but you're really happy about it alright cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week Gemini we have the Queen of Pentacles we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Five of Pentacles, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, so what you're not expecting is to hear from this uh, Queen of Pentacles, or perhaps you'll even see this person. A male or female absolutely doesn't matter. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this whole spread could be about work, business, and finances, right? In this case, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is associated with uh, this work, business, or finances situation, right? Because we got all Pentacles here except for that Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is either a card of communication or somebody traveling, you know, showing up. So, um... For some of you, this person needs help. They need to borrow some money from you. 
or uh, perhaps they will pay you back if they owe you money right um, yeah so the seven of Pentacles right next to the Queen of Pentacles is a card of waiting right so if you're the one who's been waiting for this person to pay you back they will finally pay you back or perhaps uh, they will reach out to you you know and they may ask for assistance and uh, they will have to wait until you uh, figure out if they want if you want to help them the five of Pentacles clarified clarifying the page of Pentacles this is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold or somebody who doesn't have uh, enough money right so yeah it could play out in different ways depending on your situation depending on what the nature of the connection between you and the Queen of Pentacles what that is right but uh, what you're not expecting is some sort of a communication or interaction with this Queen of Pentacles and most likely whatever is going on between you and this person has to do with um, finances alright so yeah that's what I have for you Gemini for this uh, week if this video resonates with you please like it please also share and subscribe and other than that Gemini have an amazing week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.